River Sniper 99 patch 1.3 is coming but it has a massive twist. Welcome back to Cocky Gacha and in this video I'm going to discuss the patch notes that have been released right sort of patch notes or overview of the content that is upcoming for 1.3 and one very notable thing is also the reason why I want to make this video is that there is a switch of banner so if i were to click on this thing right it tells you all of the overview and we all know right for people that have been following the banner schedule you know that shamin is coming in just 12 days and black dwarf is actually the second part which honestly more people are excited about black dwarf but what blue pop actually did was that look at this date over here this is the black dwarf banner bringing along with kanjira as well it's coming on the 18th of january what does this mean this means that they completely swapped the banner schedule and honestly people might think that this is not a big deal but in my opinion i feel that this change is extremely friendly as well to free to play players because of the event shop changes that are potentially coming in fact i can be like 99 percent sure they are going to make this change and this change is particularly for the event shop because usually the first part of the event shop right is the one that gives you the materials for that uh, banner character and the second part which is the u2 shop doesn't give you that much it only gives you the books the pages that are for the second part of the character hence this change meant that for people that were already pre-farming black dwarf I think this is not exactly the best news you might have potentially wasted your stamina on farming for black dwarf materials because event shop likely the golden materials right golden fleece as well as the oja bots is going to come in the first part of the event shop regardless with kanjira also right which is a very notable five star given the fact that she brings about poison so a lot of people might have changling and you probably want to include a, a kanjira into your poison team although a lot of times i've told you guys that even without poison right jessica changling can definitely function just fine so i don't think exactly there is a need but it is good to have right if you have it then potentially you can try it with the new 1.3 balance mode people they are curious right you can see in this post right they mentioned the balance mode you guys might be thinking hey if i'm like i don't play the game at all i'm able to clear all the content because there is now balance mode that is not exactly the case so what balance mode entails is that for certain event bosses right like for the boss for 1.3 the easy mode itself there are three difficulty always right there's easy there's a normal a medium one the hard mode and then there's a crisis mode so the crisis mode or others mode is the one that we actually farm so only for the easy ones you can rent um i3 units technically to clear the event boss i think this is just for people so that they can have uh, completion first clear bonuses for the event boss however you are not able to actually farm using balance mode so you cannot replay using balance mode which is why i don't exactly think this is um, something that people will be more most concerned with or people are overestimating how big of an impact it is so i don't think exactly this is that good and back to the banner also right so like we mentioned just now about the uh, black dwarf banner being swapped ahead to come uh, in front of shamin banner it also meant that shamin itself right for people that are really anticipating shamin you can see over here shamin's banner is only going to come on the 8th of february quite late for people that are anticipating shamin uh, some people i know in my discord channel are already preparing to pull for shamin but right now you double the bad news shamin is going to come late and shamin is not going to have the material so the more important thing is now to pre-farm for Shamin if you are going to uh, actually draw for Shamin or pull for Shamin. And also take note that you, with the banner schedule being swapped, you do not have your pulls, right? If you want to go for both or you want to try a luck for one, you like Shamin a bit more, you don't like Black Dwarf as much, you want to try a luck for Shamin to see whether you can get it in 10 pulls, 20 pulls. And if so, you are going to pull for uh, Black Dwarf. Right now, it might be that your plans are all actually messed up. So I'm not exactly sure whether this is something that will impact a lot of people because from what I've seen and also from my personal opinion, right, with a lot of people just targeting Black Dwarf over Shamin, I think that this might be a lesser known problem. And also partly the reason why the devs want to change it, right, because Black Dwarf is the more popular character, they want it to come sooner. Uh, also, they want people to have access to the materials for free. So I think it is extremely reasonable for this change to happen. Just sucks for people that really like Shamin and are skipping Black Dwarf. So that, that is that. The rest of the events itself, I've taken a look at them. Like you can see the home practice, the Shamin left arm. These are all standard events that were already coming. And the event uh, schedule itself, right? It didn't really change. And hopefully 
the story doesn't change because otherwise it will not make sense right they don't swap other events uh this the schedule then it will be totally fine the event would make sense the story will make sense that would be the best case scenario just sort the banners so it will be totally fine and of course right the other things that were already naturally coming with 1.3 will still be arriving so we are still having the leilani skin nothing have really changed so over here we're still getting leilani skin we're still getting it from the youtube shop uh, Leilani, in my opinion, is pretty decent if you just use her as a suicide like unit, right? So that you can get the Muxi gate, especially for Melania or some of the users that really want to you want to try cheese strats for the horsey strat, the da da Darcy Clutter, I think it's called Darcy Clutter or something like that. Those that boost Muxi, right? All of them together they boost a lot of Muxi. So this is for memeing more of that. Um as usual, U2 is only going to include five star uh, skins. They are not going to have six star skins. And talking about skins, right? Of course we have the raw group box and with the departure of the raw joke box with the beacon skin we're going to have the arrival with the matilda skin honestly not too sure why they put in matilda skin i mean it looks good but no one exactly plays matilda and matilda don't have the duplication right you don't have the portraits cannot even obtain it so i am not too sure why they picked matilda regardless this is what we are going to get i don't think it's going to sway too many people when it comes to the um, purchase of this battle pass usually people just purchase it anyway right leave a comment in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on this matilda skin are you going to skip the battle pass because of this and also right uh notably you can see over here there is a visitors to the south after the update you are going to have this garments in the shop we are going to have the pickles uh, this is a summer set if i'm not wrong we are going to have the tannins one as well so this two pickles as well as tannin pickles is definitely more popular but tannin i do know that there are a couple people that are really really excited about tannin as well so definitely you can check those out if you are interested in it me personally i'm saving for upcoming skins like two fairy um, potentially in 1.6 we can purchase the groovy skin but i don't even have groovy yet so we'll see how it goes the a night skin if i'm not wrong in 1.6 right is actually a thousand uh crystals instead of the 800 crystals usually so a bit more expensive we'll see whether we buy that right first thing is going to be the two fairy so 14 days as usual we are going to have the login bonus seven days seven days so first half seven days second half seven days do include that in your pool income and also you are going to have the spring greetings this one i'm not sure if it's in china server i might Think that this is with the cny or yeah the celebrations kind of a extra 500 clear drops i haven't seen it in um the cn server to be honest maybe i just missed it regardless 500 clear drops who can say no this is like three pools almost three pools right uh, in this game where my pools are so limited you are going to want to have it similarly we're going to have a same wilderness set and when it comes to the new packs usually i don't dive too much into it but just to t uh, show you guys a particular thing that might be of interest to you guys right anything that have oja bot right is probably going to be your main thing that you are going to look at because the oja bot is one of the more annoying ones to farm and also you need the oja bot to craft the golden fleece which is also why initially right when it comes to black dwarf farming i think that it is going to be quite uh, annoying we definitely want to pre-farm earlier because it's quite hard to get the materials that you want for oja bot as well as the golden fleece and it involves a lot of holy silvers okay so <laughs> mother of holy silvers definitely good thing that now we don't have to rely on this but regardless you still have more use for the oja bot so if you really want to pick this up this is your good chance to pick up some of the oja bots and that is pretty much about all of the events that you have seen from here right the overview uh the one as well as two whether the event shop exactly changes in the materials i am like i mentioned right i'm fairly confident that they changed it purely because of the event shop so the event shop is definitely going to change however we still have to see what are the other materials the bottom ones right the gold ones i'm pretty certain oja bot is going to be in and the golden place is going to be in for the rest not too sure but regardless it sounds like good news to me not sure what are your thoughts leave a comment in the comment section below this also set precedence in my opinion on future patches are we going to see six before 37 is this going to screw us over with the rates because with uh, rates release right the first half it already released the rates so with six arrival before 37 people that are lacking a star hyper carry might have a bit more trouble clearing so this might be something that is up for debate regardless the rates pretty much just last the whole patch right so even if it comes after 21 days just pull your 37 after that 30, uh, 21 days and then you should be able to clear it uh, no problem so i don't think it will affect too much especially when 1.4 uh, is what i know as a double pool 
patch whereby people are going to probably just pull for 6 and 37 um, leave a comment as well let me know whether you guys are pulling for both me personally i'm definitely going for both i'm already prepared after black dwarf I'm just going to save for 37 and 6 as with a lot of people. So these are my thoughts on the upcoming 1.3, the banner swap, etc. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Now, of course, I know that especially the beginners, right? You guys are also very concerned with the U2 because a lot of you guys haven't cleared U2 30. So definitely check out this video over here where I touch on what you should do, what is the best strategy for U2. I'll see you guys over there. This is Cocky Gachas, signing off.